Bangladesh, who batted second in both against Scotland and against the Netherlands yesterday, uh, they decided without, without hesitation to bat first today. And uh, we've got uh, the same partnership of uh, Tamim Iqbal, the left-hander, and uh, Junaid Siddiqui, number 31, at the non-striking end at the moment. And uh, uh, we're all ready for play, so let's play. The bowler is uh, uh, Tim Gruchas. Interesting, interesting uh, to start with a spinner, but uh, this is quite frequently the way they do it in 2020 cricket. Start with a spinner at one end, and that's turned round into the mid-wicket area. But uh, Peter Sealer uh, runs round to uh, cut off the single, and here comes Gruchas. And that's a big hit, but it's going to be caught, and that is caught at mid-off. That was uh, a slightly careless shot. Let's have a look at the replay now. Oh, it's Peter Boron, number 83, out there, and uh, that was a very, very good catch. It seemed to come to in slow motion, didn't it? That brings on Shakib Al-Hassan, number 75, who is uh, a batsman worth his place, should we say. And this is Michael Svart uh, bowling the second over for the Netherlands uh, with uh, Tamim Iqbal facing. Tamim, of course, yesterday the hero for Bangladesh who made uh, 69 not out. And there's the second ball. He pushes it out into the mid-wicket area. They're going to get one. They'll probably get two. Yes, definitely getting two here. And uh, they might even go for three. Yes, that's a very good piece of running by the Bangladesh uh, uh, batsman. Michael Svart, quite a... An experienced campaigner here now for uh, the Netherlands. Uh, he uh, varies the pace, varies the flight, varies the length, and varies the line. So uh, you never know what's going to come next. Round the wicket, and he's bowled. That's uh, Shakib out, isn't it? It's Shakib. That's a sensational uh, quick wicket there for Michael Svart and one of the big names of Bangladeshi batting. Let's have a look at the replay now. Stayed low on the batsman, no turn really, but uh, played across the line and the ball hit middle and off. That's Michael Svart about to bowl again. This is live and exclusive on Gazi TV. And that's a big hit, but it's going to be caught in the deep. Uh, very well caught by Bukhari. Uh, and uh, it's a third wicket down for Bangladesh. This is beginning to look a little bit serious. Look at this uh, replay just now. Just. Uh, Sliding down on his knees, Bakari took a very good catch, low down. We have a change of bowling now at the uh, f uh, scoreboard end. Uh, this is Tom Cooper uh, bowling and uh, Tamim dispatches him square on the offside for four runs, the first boundary of the innings. So Tom Cooper, of course, uh, Australian in origin. Uh, but with Dutch parentage and here he comes bowling for Holland bowling for the Netherlands and that's swept round oh that's very well fielded very well fielded by uh, uh, Eric Svartzinski Svart now to Mamadula and that's a lovely four wide bid on an excellent boundary there Mamadula in imperious form And that's a second successive four for Mamadullah, this time swept behind the square leg. And that's an excellent shot. Another fantastic four, that's three fours in succession. Uh, Michael Spart getting the uh, treatment here from Mamadullah. And this is exactly what Bangladesh need to bolster their innings after such a poor start. Well, there's a very, another very nice shot by Mabadur. It's going out to the boundary, but it won't get there. And that's another two for uh, Mabadullah. It takes his score to uh, 15. And the score at the end of the sixth over is 30 for three wickets.
Another change of bowling at the scoreboard end. Peter Boron, the North Netherlands captain, has brought himself on. Medium pace. It's not going to cause any great difficulties for the batsman. And there's uh, another ball one-handed drive there by uh, Tamim. Just a single. And uh, we have another change of bowling at the uh, pavilion end this time. Tim van der Gooten. And there's uh, a very nice uh, shot down the leg side by uh, Mamadullah, and a really classical uh, pickup shot. And this is Tom Cooper again, I think, is it? Uh, bowling, and that was down the leg side, and it goes for four. Tom Cooper again. And that one's uh, forced off the back foot. It was an excellent four. We had six or seven hundred spectators yesterday for the first match between these two teams. And we have a new bowler at the pavilion end again, Asan uh, Malik. And that's uh, down the leg side, down the, uh, between fine leg and square leg for two runs. We've now had uh, seven overs without a, another wicket falling. Uh, that's uh, another couple of runs to uh, Mabadullah. So it really is a lovely day here and a lovely setting with uh, the church in the background. and. There's a lovely shot by Mamadula. It deserves four, but actually uh, Bukhari ran round the boundary, anticipated that well, actually, on the boundary. You could see from the shape of the shot where it was going to go, and he cut off three runs. Boron comes in. Where's he going to bowl this one? Short. Outside the off-stop, and that one is late cut for four. That's a superb technical shot. Malik is uh, only 22, getting coming on for 23. Year, years of age, he's a uh, right arm medium fast bowler. Here he is again. Oh, that's a very good, and he's going to be out. Caught by Peter Boron, the Netherlands captain. Mamadullah, great innings by him. He took the bull by the horns, helped Bangladesh get back into the game after a poor start with six uh, boundaries, all of them absolutely uh, top notch at the top draw. The new batsman is uh, Zia Rahman who joins Tamim, who proceeds uh, unperturbed at the other end. He's uh, uh, going to face this ball. He's on 27, not out. And here comes Manik again. I think this may be the last ball of his over. Good over by him. Short of a length, that one. And just punched out to mid-on. And here he is again. And that one is hit firmly square on the offside, down to a deep square leg. Uh, Bukhari, the fielder, a lovely throw straight into the uh, wicketkeeper's hands. Wesley Baresi didn't have to move an inch. So what can Malik do this time to deceive the batsman? And that's six over Cow Corner, straight into the pavilion. And uh, the fans are uh, suddenly energized by the first six of the game. And uh, no wonder, because that was a great shot. Huge six, absolutely, yeah, no doubt about that one. And Peter Boron, perhaps uh, always ahead of the game in terms of uh, strategy and uh, what kind of ball to bowl to each batsman. I'm sure they talk about it a lot with coach Peter Drinnen. Here he is again, and this one is also short, too short, and uh, it wasn't terribly well hit, but I think that's going to be four. Yeah, and four, four inelegant runs to uh, Zia, but they all count. Here's Boron again. Zia oh, slashes again. He manages to get some kind of tickles. Four, four to fine leg, wide fine leg. So that's another four to uh, Zia. Madasa Bukhari, and here he comes for the first ball of his first over. And that's to Tamim, who just uh, likes the likes the extra pace. No, there was extra pace there, I think, uh, for uh, for him to work with, which he hasn't been used to so far. Gets two runs for it. Bakari again, and that's a uh, straight drive for four. Oh no, it's not four, it's been uh, picked up by Pete Seeler on the boundary. Zia this time, and that one's also hit in the same direction. And Pete Seeler does a repeat performance of the last ball. Another single. And the 100 comes up. 100 for four. Tamim on 35, and Zia on 20. Got a, a couple of uh, uh, new faces in the Bangladesh team today. Jahurul Islam, who's uh, 
ready to bat next, I think, and Shafiul Islam are in. And uh, Nazmul Hussain and Mushafri bin Mortaza are out. But there's another big, big hit. Is it going to oh, fall short of the fielders? And uh, Peter Boran again uh, ringing the changes. Practically every over is bowled by a different bowler uh, at this stage of the game just to keep the batsman guessing. And that's a better contact. Goes out through extra cover. Van der Guchten. And that's going to be a six, straight six. Oh, no, it's not. It's uh, well inside, very high. And it's very, very well caught by Peter Boran uh, over his shoulder. It's an absolutely superb catch, that, and uh, well-deserved because he took it so calmly over his shoulder. Iqbal is on 39, not out. The batsman out just now was uh, Zia Rahman, who uh, scored 22 in rapid time. It seemed like a lot more. And Malik again pitches it short of a length, gives the batsman space to cut it square, uh, goes out for two. Yes, there's not been a, a huge number of boundaries for the crowd to cheer in this particular innings by my calculations uh, about a dozen fours and one six yes, Malik again there's a big hit but it may not go all the way and it may be or oh, it is six it just clears uh, the fielder uh, Eric uh, Svazinski on the boundary there and that's the second six of the innings by uh, uh, Tamim and his first. So here's Malik again. And that one's a fuller length ball driven by Tamim to uh, deep mid on. Uh, Peter Seeler runs in ra energetically. Uh, welcome back to Volvo Cricket Club where uh, Van de Guchten is just bowled the first ball of the 19th over. Tamim gets a couple more runs. He's now on 48 so uh, on the edge of his second successive half century in as many days. Here comes Van de Guchten. And that one is going in the same direction, uh, but will, I uh, know Boren doesn't make the same mistake twice, but he do, does get his second run. That takes him up to a very, very well played 50. And uh, Tamim scored 69, not out yesterday, his personal best in 2020. And here's another half century, which will mark him out as one of the world's most thrilling batsmen. Here's Van der Guchten again, and that's going to be... Oh, no, that could be caught, yes. That's Peter Boren's fourth catch of the innings. No doubt about it. He's so calm out there, waits for the ball to come to him and doesn't overrun it. And uh, this time it is uh, Tamim who's out. 50, caught Boren. Very straightforward catch for Peter Boren, who watches the ball come into his hands and just is perfectly positioned. Tamim... He is a hero to these fans, but he will have the highest of standards and he will probably not think that one of his better innings. This is the new batsman, number 32, Jahurul Islam. Because, of course, uh, they went for a single when that court catch was taken. But here's Van der Guchten to the new batsman, getting his uh, first uh, run in 2020. And a very energetic roller, uh, runner. He's taken two very quick runs there. Excellent running between the wickets. Van der Guchten to uh, Jahurul Islam and that's vertically in the air I don't know who's going to catch it it'll be Wesley Baresi under it with the gloves and there he is and that's a well taken catch by uh, Baresi 19th over's gone 123 for 7 Bangladesh and uh, that uh, was uh, Tim van der Guchten's uh, third wicket and the new batsman is Abdul Razak and here's uh, Bukhari and that's down the leg side, will be called wide. Here's Bukhari again, and that's vertically in the air, is going to be caught by Malik. At, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't as confident as uh, Peter Boren, but it's still in his hands. Oh, yes, big leading edge, straight up into the sky. And a few juggles by Malik. Asan Malik is credited for the catch. Here he comes again, and that's a very, oh yes, that is bold, because it was a, a Yorker. The batsman did well to get the bat behind it, but there was plenty of momentum on the ball. And the last batsman coming in here is uh, Elias Sunny to uh, 
Well, that's a very good shot by the number 13. Uh -huh. Well, that was run out. They went back for their second run of the final ball of the innings. 128 all out. The Dutch players look quite happy with uh, that. Uh, they obviously feel that can be uh, achieved. And they would certainly be looking for a win after being defeated by eight wickets. Comprehensive eight wickets by Bangladesh yesterday. Welcome back. This is Abdul Razak uh, with the ball in his hand and facing him is Wesley Baresi, the Netherlands wicketkeeper. And here he is. And uh, that's round the wicket. Look at a bit of a flick with the, the arm, I think, there, Ed. Would you not say? Certainly looks that way and also the Bangladesh team opening with uh, spin. Well, that seems to be the pattern in 2020 cricket, and uh, I'm not surprised. And that one is uh, really forced down with additional pace. I, I'm very interested in, in this arm movement because from our angle it, it does look rather strange um, as he uh, turns the, uh, the ball with his left arm and uh, the batsman there. Ball goes past past cover so yeah you think the the, um, the Dutch will be very happy with 129 as a target on a wearing wicket Ed? Uh, I would say so we, we should be happy um, obviously it gives you a bit of uh, um, an easier position with the bat you, you basically have to uh, to work um, uh, with uh, some singles here and there you don't need to go for the big shots you can just work them around Shafiul Islam coming to bowl now, his first ball at this level, I think he's a very youngster, he looks, uh, looks almost like a teenager. Um, there are the two fresh faces, and that was should have been caught and bowled, dropped there by Shafiul. Uh, it's very difficult for a fast bowler, particularly with a vigorous action at the crease, to keep his focus. Same problem, uh, that's still short of a length, and that's been uh, carted. Uh, wide of mid on and uh, it's not got to the boundary yet uh, the timing wasn't quite right but two to Svart Ashraful who's come on he's substitute fielder for somebody I'm not sure who's off the field but there's Svart uh, who uh, swings across the line not particularly elegant shot but they get two and that's effective enough Zach again that's pushed through and another dot ball well if dot balls are the uh, Embodiment of results in 2020. It's a good over so far. And that is a maiden over in a 2020 over game which is almost unforgivable. Uh, we're in the fourth over and this one is being bowled by Shakib. And uh, that's the fifth ball of the over. Um, in, the, in the over so far there's been a one to Svart. Uh, two to uh, Baresi and then a very fine four over extra cover by Baresi. Fours uh, at this early state of our innings is uh, is what we're looking for. Well there's an attempt which might go for four. The field is running around very rapidly. Oh and he got a hand to it but it just leaped up over him and uh, that is the second four of the Dutch innings. Well there's Zach again. And that's outside Dostam. That's turn for four. Very neatly by Wesley Baresi. Uh, through mid wicket. Uh, a surefire uh, boundary there. Michael Sport, of course, yesterday made 57. I, that's what I was trying to look out for. I mean, he could make another 57. But that's Baresi rather stupidly play across the line when he just scored a four. And he absolutely. Uh, curses himself for being so careless. He clean bowled uh, by Abdul Razak immediately after conceding a four. Shakib on again, and he's uh, bowling to Michael Spot, who paddles it nicely round the corner. No extra strength in that. It just gets a single. The new batsman is Tom Cooper. Scored one yesterday, so he'll be looking for a few more today. Oh, and that's a big appeal. It was very high up on his right pad. And Shakib comes in again. And, oh, that is clean bowled. 
And once again, Tom Cooper uh, rues the across the line swing, which is not timed properly. A new bowler at the pavilion end, alias Sonny. And Swart, oh, uh, drives it at catchable height straight back to the bowler, who is now injured. His left arm round, and there we are. That's a single at least. They should get two if they go for it. And Peter Boron safely home, and Michael Swart as well. So it's well run. Uh, you certainly don't want to lose wickets in, in, in pairs like uh, what just happened, but um, uh, Swart seems to to have dug himself in a bit and hopefully Pete Boren can uh, excel in what he's very good at, scoring quick runs. Uh, if he can at the halfway stage uh, still be at like seven, around seven runs an hour needed, required, then you should be uh, should be okay. So here's Shafiu, a oh, very, very short ball again and Svart loves that, he pulls it to uh, deep mid on, gets two easy runs. There's two actually in the middle at the moment, Pete Boren and uh, Michael Swart are uh, big hitters, but um, like I said, it's not, not really necessary at this stage. Well, there's a lovely four uh, all the way from the bat. So that was the best shot of the uh, of the day, actually, in many ways. And uh, very, very good timing. Sonny again. Let's see if you can turn the ball. I don't know whether Boron is being careful for that reason, but there's a big hit, and that is six. We'll be talking about that. Sonny again. And Boren goes for the four this time, and uh, whether he makes it or not, yes, six or four. Excellent uh, ten runs and two balls. This one's caressed again. Oh, and it's gone past the fielder who slips, and uh, he's going to get two, uh, but it should have been stopped. Um, it wasn't very far away from the fielder. And Mamadula is coming in to, for his first ball, and that's an attempted sweep. Michael Spart's favourite shot, actually. And uh, he usually makes uh, better contact than that. The uh, the pitch has been is the same pitch that's been used the last three days here, and uh, it's quite possibly keeping a bit low. There's another ball, and that's bit gone straight and high and six over the side screens and into the field beyond. Yeah, and like I said, he uh, loves to use a little bit of bottom hand and a powerful hitter. Right. Mamadula coming in again round the wicket. And Swart again tries to sweep. It was an extravagant appeal for uh, stumping there by uh, Rahim, the uh, wicketkeeper captain. But uh, the umpire's not impressed at all. So, shouldn't this have been a wide though? And at the end of the tenth over, uh, Bangladesh for 57 for three, and the Netherlands in reply of 59 for two. So it's pretty much uh, even Stephen at this stage. Shakib is the bowler at the pavilion end, bowling to Peter Boren, who seems to like this caressed late cut today, but it hasn't yielded any real runs for him. And that's high in the air, and it could well be caught at mid-off. And yes, yeah, safely caught. That was uh, a ball that got up rather quicker, and it was shorter. He was advancing on it and got under it. He was looking for the, for the mid-wicket area and got a slight le leading edge. And... Uh, both these batsmen are capable of that, and that's a nice uh, reverse sweep down for four, very fine four to the long, the long stop boundary. How, how often is that practiced these days in the net set? And Tom de Gaard likes it very much. Uh, he's very good at it and practices uh, the shot quite a bit. And here's Sunny again. And oh, and that was an attempted paddle shot over the head and uh, m completely missed it. It was clean bowled. And uh, that is why some purists who watch cricket uh, despair of shots like that. What do you think, Ed? It's supposed to be a spectacular form of the game. So As we watch two replays of this. It is spectacular. And uh, every now and then, as we see with the crowd, it's, uh, it's not working. But uh, it's uh, why the stadiums worldwide are full. And here comes Amadullah, and that's uh, uh, nicely struck straight down the ground by Tvozinski, who comes out of his crease. There's a bit of tension in the air out there at the moment, a crucial phase of the game, and Tvozinski pulls the ball through mid-wicket. They still only get one run because there's a fielder out there. And this is Elias Sonny's last over coming in 
And that's a very quick single, and he's out, run out. Uh, just too far for Svosinski to make his ground, and that was out even from 45 degrees, it looked out. Just have a look at that from the square camera. And, uh, oh, a good couple of feet there, definitely. Must have been his uncle uh, as well. So. And the new batsman now is uh, Badassa Bukhari, number seven, uh, who uh, is uh, a supreme all-rounder as far as I could tell. And he seems to be able to uh, do everything that is needed to be done. They need 50 for victory now, and they have five run, five overs left at the end of this over. And uh, at the moment, the uh, run rate required seems to be about nine. Now, there's a big six, and it's coming in our direction, and it's going to hit the... Uh, oh, that only just missed our control point there. So that's exactly what I was expecting from Bukhari. And you? Exactly that. I've seen him score uh, 100 for, uh, for the Netherlands in a friendly in India with so much power. So you never know what's going to happen here. Michael Svart has got... Uh, one four and one six but otherwise he's been hitting the field all the time and that's a pull by Bakari he's going to be out he's caught at mid wicket and uh, that's not what the Dutch need and here's the replay to prove it up in the air yes a simple catch and uh, Bukhari departs for seven that's a single and a six Oh, that's a very good example of what uh, did for a uh, previous battle, Michael Svart. That was absolutely classical, <laughs> classical non-orthodox uh, non shot. Uh, but it yields four very good runs at exactly the right time. Yep. We'd all like to do that, us amateur cricketers, but we're too worried about it, the ball hitting the f us in the face. And here's Shakib again, and that's... Uh, a cross-batted shot straight down the ground. It's not going to be four because there are two fielders there who might have fielded it, so they take two, and that takes uh, that takes Svart up to 48, and the total to 97 for six. Shakiv to Svart. Svart on 48. And that's uh, one, two, three, and four runs for Svart. That's excellent. That's only his third four of the innings. He's scored a six as well. And uh, that 50 uh, gets a well-deserved round of applause from the crowd. Let's see how he made it there. Here he goes. And this one is a six. And that is an ideal follow-up to the previous ball. And here is that shot again. So that's 10 in uh, two balls for Svart. In there. Good effort. Here comes... Uh, Another ball from Shakib and again into the mid-wicket area and again Hossein Fields. It's only a single again for Michael Svart who's now on 59 suddenly uh, accelerating in that over. 61 to Svart who's uh, facing now Mahmoudullah. And oh and that's uh, clean bowled I think. I don't think that was stumped. I think he just missed it. Played too early. The ball was held back by Mahmoudullah very cleverly. Oh, it's a, st a stumping. And uh, Svart, of course, yesterday made 57 for the Netherlands, so that's two half centuries in a row. And here's Shafiul again, and that's clean bowled. That's a tremendous piece of bowling by Shafiul, who finally pitches the ball up, and that was Yorker length. Here's the replay. Don't know how old he is, but uh, his number's 13. He doesn't look much more than 13 years old. There's only uh, nine, nine balls left. Here comes Sheffield. And that's a nice ball. Not quite as full as the last one. And the bit of misfield allows the batsman to get two. Uh, it should not have been there, but uh, that helps the Dutch cause. Takes them to 116. Sheffield bowls again. And that's... Slightly uppish, but one run. And so that uh, reduces the target in the final over yet to come to exactly 10, uh, because uh, the Netherlands are now 119 for 8, chasing 129 for victory and one over to go. 
This is the last over being bowled by Abdul Razak. And that totally defeats the batsman. And there's a lot of reaction there as if there might have been something on it that uh, might have been caught by Rahim, the Bangladesh captain, but uh, no. Second ball, and that's off in the air, but it's safe. It's into the uh, space, um, and they're going for a second. I'm not. Su I'm surprised they weren't running a bit more uh, urgently there, because that was a definite two. But uh, Tim van der Guten didn't seem to be in any hurry about it at all. Third ball of the over, and that that's a dot ball. And uh, <laughs> oh dear, Peter Seeder slips, but the uh, run out opp opportunity couldn't be taken up by Abdul Razak but it was a dot ball 121 for 8 the three balls to come and this is the fourth ball and that's a big hit which has gone all the way for 6 a superb shot by Tim van der Guten and that will make a huge difference takes the score up to 127 for 6 for 8 rather and uh, that certainly improves the Dutch chances of victory. The two balls to go, and they require two runs for victory. And here comes Razak. And oh, and there's a bigger feel, and he's been given out LBW. A uh, very, very uh, straight ball, and looked out from here, and there was no hesitation on the umpire's part. So the drama continues. Twelve runs to uh, Van der Guten. Well, this is what makes the, the game of cricket one of the world's greatest sports. Last ball, Razak, and that is a single, it's going to go for four, and uh, it goes over the boundary now, and the Dutch fans are delighted. That uh, means Holland have won off the last ball of the game, the last pair at the crease. And uh, as I say, it could have gone either way off that last ball, but uh, that was a fantastic uh, shot by, uh, by Malik. Yes, there it is. And uh, uh, it was uh, an excellent way to finish the game for the Dutch. Yeah.